Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yuki here, and welcome to my first visual novel on the channel. And it is called Carpe Diem. It's free on the Steam store. And, um, it was free on Steam. Um, sorry. Uh, it's really short, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, yeah. From what I've heard about it, it's really good, and it's definitely... It definitely should cost money, so go get it now. But, uh, the reason I sound like this is because I'm kind of sick. So, yeah. So today we're going to be starting this, and let's go ahead and get started. She's late. I've experienced some problems lately, and we weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend some time with her. But it's only temporary, and I don't know how long it will last. That's sad. Hey, Jung! That's my girl voice, guys. You shut up. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? <coughs> that hurts. <laughs> yeah, for about half an hour. Dude, what, you're supposed to say no. I, I didn't wait at all. I just got here. Yeah. A guy's supposed to say not at all here, you know. Oh, wait. <clears throat> A guy's supposed to say not at all here, you know. I didn't know that. I wasn't notified about the change in society. Dude, this guy's a douche. Why am I helping this guy? They didn't bother because they know you're not going to follow it anyway. Wow, little... Okay, she's sassy. Damn right. So where do you want to go? Um... Let's go to the mall today. The reason I'm wearing a beanie is because my hair is a mess. And I don't feel like, you know, getting it ready. Wow, I didn't expect you to suggest the mall. Why is that? Because you get bored easily when you're shopping with them. Stereotypical, stereotypical guy. Always gets bored shopping with the girls. I like shopping. It's fun. Yeah, but this time I have stuff I want to buy. Oh. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Porn. It's porn. Duct tape to shut you up. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa. Kinky. Oh my, when did you become so kinky? <laughs> but whatever you're into, I guess. <clears throat> but whatever you're into, I guess. I'm not good at the girl voice, guys. I'm sorry. You know you like it. Damn! She laughs as she pulls me toward the mall. It takes a lot of time, energy, and money to shop with I. Normally, I would avoid the shopping mall like a plague, but I'll make today an exception. Wow, they're having a big sale. We just stepped into the shopping mall's entrance and she's already pointing at a clothing store. Sounds like me. <laughs> Let's check it out. She pulls me toward the store, then proceeds to keenly examine every part of every clothing. Like a detective looking for evidence. She picks up a white dress with flower design on the bottom half. One sec. She heads to the fitting room to try it on. How does this look? Exactly the same. It's hard for me to answer this question because I have zero sense of fashion. I got your back, bro. I got you. But that looks exactly the same. The necklace is cute, though. I'm the type of guy who would wear anything that fits my size. Wow, I feel bad for this guy. So whenever she asks me this question, I rely on the magic word. Cute. I think it's cute. She looks at a mirror. Really? Isn't it a bit plain? I touch my chin with my right hand. Did you hear me ignore you? Wait. Sorry about that interruption, guys. I touch my chin with my right hand as if to reanalyze the clothing. I find it cute. I'll take it. She goes inside the fitting room to take it off. Ooh, take it off, take it off. Ooh. It's getting sexy up in here. <laughs> she then walks to the cashier and pays for it. Is that all you need from this store? Pretty much. They don't have much anyone on. Wait, they don't have much on anyway. Like on display? Okay. Then we continue to walk around the mall. She's like a chunk of steel while stores are strong magnets. Wow. Whenever we're walking, she slowly strays toward the store. Sometimes towards the store sometimes without her even knowing it so it's like walking 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 store 
I don't know if I was in frame for all that. Probably wasn't. <laughs> Whenever we were walking, she slowly strays to the store, sometimes without her even knowing it. Hey, Jung, this looks good on you. How do you know? He hasn't tried... Bitch. This wood look... Oh, God, it's a spider. I don't like spiders, guys. I... I really, really don't like spiders. I don't really need new clothes. I'll buy it for you. I'm not wearing that. I feel you. She picks up another shirt. There, I'll buy myself one... I'll buy myself one as well, so we match. I'll wear it with you. <gasps> Relationship goals? That's not the problem. I know it's no use when she makes up her mind. While she's, play while she's paying for the shirts, my eyes wander around to see the computer store. Let's head there when we're done. I point to it with my thumb. Oh yeah, you did say you needed to buy something. Yeah, I'm going to see if they have any cheap parts there. Especially hard drives. The program I'm developing is, a bigger, is bigger than I expected. Oh, so he's a programmer maybe he works on video games that'd be pretty cool I bet she likes video games she likes spiders so who knows what she likes she silently follows me and she fo she silently follows me into and around the computer store oh my god I'm still a little sick guys I apologize just a few seconds and I'm ready to pay for my items and that's how you sh that's how guys normally shop that was fast that's how you're supposed to shop Douche. This guy is a big douchebag. Nah, you're not even checking if it if they work or not before you buy them. That's true. That's what warranties are for. That's also true. I go to the cashier and pay. Where do you want to go next? I saw a toy store over there. Let's check it out. We enter the toy store and I immediately heads to the plush area. Oh god. Look at all these cuties. I want all of them. Look at all these cuties. I want all of them. She's, she's going to find a spider plushie, isn't she? Go for it, as long as you have money. What? I thought you are paying. Keep dreaming. I'm kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. I feel like this thing is falling off, so, like, a bunch. But seriously, though, they're so cute. I wonder what I should get. While she's busy picking the plushie, I head to the next aisle where the keychains are. I see a spider keychain... Spider keychains are way worse than spider shirts because they are the same size as spiders. It's not okay. Ah, uh, she would love this. Yeah, she probably would because she's a weirdo. I quickly go to the cashier to pay for it. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't really think she's a weirdo. She's, she's probably a very lovely girl. I don't know. Then walk back to I, who still can't decide what to get. Hey, I. Pfft. Hey, I, I bought this for you. I show her the keychain. I kind of started with I's voice. Sorry about that. The next one of these I'm going to do is going to have voices in it. So I don't have to talk. I'll just be talking for the protagonist. Yeah. That's so cute. You didn't have to. So you guys don't have to listen to my girl voice very much longer. It's fine. <laughs> Failure. It's fine. I, it wasn't that expensive anyway. She looks really happy about the cheap keychain I got her. While walking, I see a bookstore. Hey, let's stop here for a bit. I didn't know you like reading books. Well, not these kind of books. I'm actually start I'm actually starting to get into cooking, so I see you're looking for cookbooks. Yeah. What kind of dishes do you like? I'll try to cook some for you. I'll try to cook for you sometime. Uh Okay. Let's give this our best shot. Boyuf Borg Okay, it's French. It's French. And I think boyouf in French is beef. Probably completely wrong about that, but I'm going to go with it as beef. And, um, boyouf, borgu, gun Sure. Whoa, chill. Why don't we start with bacon and eggs? Why'd you even ask? Yeah, why even bother asking? She smiles as she takes three beginner cookbooks from the shelf. Wait, you can't cook bacon and eggs by yourself? Sweetie. Sweetie. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh yeah, I just realized I'm kind of hungry now too. We head to the mall's food court. What do you want? Whatever you're getting, I'll just share with you. 
Alright, find us a spot and I'll buy food. I go to buy a large serving of maki rolls and sushi. This is probably enough for four people. Whatever, I like these anyway. That's kind of a lot, don't you think? I'm gonna have you eat all of these. I want you big. I want you puffy. <laughs> I want you big. <laughs> no way, I'm not gonna eat all of that. I'm kidding. But these do look like yummy. I might eat more than I intend to. I realize how hungry I am when I finish the whole serving within five minutes. Jesus Christ! Wow, you were that hungry? Apparently. I sit back and let my stomach bloat. Where do you want to go next? Let's see. Let's see. How about the arcade? Okay, that's where I'm going to stop the first episode because I don't want 20 minute episodes. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see the last half of this episode of Carpe Diem series, I can't speak words. Let's get 15 likes on this video and I will finish off the series. So, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.